My name is Stuart Yule. I'm the head of physical performance for the Scottish rugby team. Let's just get our head around it, have your targets in mind. Hi! The first few weeks in Scotland camp is very much laying the foundation, preparing for the demands of, of what's coming um, at the World Cup. We know it's going to be massively intense. The, the physical ability of the players is going to be tested um, within each game and across the, the duration of the tournament. So the first few weeks for us is very much looking at all the determinants of performance from the, a strength perspective, a power, a speed. And a, and a conditioning perspective and looking at putting that together to make sure the players are, are prepared when we come to game day. Day one today, we wanted to just understand where players were at. Um, so, from a physical foundation perspective, we really look at some of the determinants of what enables the players to perform at the highest level on the pitch. So, some of those aspects are power, our speed, our explosiveness, and then having an aerobic ability that allows them to recover between these high intensity efforts. So, this morning we just looked at you know where the players are on on that spectrum of explosive strength um, and maximal strength. When I get nine, four, nine five, that's mental, that's incredible weight. Let me go after this one. Yeah. Let me go after this. Yeah, I just chilled at home. And then this afternoon we, we ran a Bronco, which is a, a test widely used across many rugby teams, which gives us a good understanding aerobically where the players are at coming to day one. It's the priority that those foundations are laid in that first block. However, the way that we, we want to ensure that's delivered is, is as much through rugby as possible. Rugby is highly specific. The physical demands are specific. The players are coming in, have come off the back of a season where they are fit and they're ready to go. So, so we very much look at the priority as a, as a combination of ensuring the fitness levels are at a good level, but really making sure the transfer into rugby is, a, is at, the, at the forefront. With this group, it's, it's, it's not very challenging to manage their fitness levels because this group look after themselves very well. Um, we, we have high standards. There's, there's high standards that the clubs are coming from um, around their, their physical preparation. The, the, the biggest challenge, I suppose, is from players coming off the season, having various game demands, finishing the season at, at different points. Um, some have had quite a long break and other, others have had quite a short break. So, you know, we've, we've got players with, with at, at different levels of, of, of recuperation, if you like, coming in. So it's, it's important that we, that we get the balance right to ensure that they're, they're coming in ready to go and, um, and making sure they can continue to progress throughout the pre-season. Hey, we're going to be working hard 
every week. Um, recovery is, is an important part of the process where it's important that we have breaks which allow the adaptation to happen, allows the players to, to become fitter when, when they're, they're recuperating. So we, we, have a, we have a hard period now and the players will get a, a short break and then we, we hit the ground running going into our, our pre-season games um, in seven weeks' time.